Jesus He is the lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world as introduced by John the Baptist to the disciples Jesus is the lamb Jesus is the lamb of God who opted himself to be slaughtered for the sins of the whole humanity He is worthy of our praise and glory. He is worthy of our prayers and thanksgiving because He has purchased each and every one of us from the bondage of sin. When we glorify Him, when we adore and worship Him, He will give us that salvation offered to the whole humanity through his suffering that and resurrection we may be in different difficult situations in our life we might have been wounded we might have been hurt we might have unjustly accused by others we are suffering from injustice unrighteous people unjust people may be attacking us we may be attacked by the evil we may be suffering from natural calamities we may be suffering from sickness but when we glorify him the lamb of god who has suffered for us that lamb of god will save us sanctify us and purify us let us look unto to the jesus to jesus the lamb of god enthroned here So let's praise and glorify Him once more. This Lamb of God is worthy of our praise. This Lamb of God is worthy of our, glory, uh, our uh, thanksgiving and prayers. So let's all sing together once again. To Him who sits on the throne And unto the Lamb sits on the throne and unto the Lamb to Him who 
sits on the throne and unto the land to him who sits on the throne and unto the In glory, in honor, in power forever. Be blessed in glory, in honor, in power forever. Be blessed in glory, in honor. Forever, yes. Be blessed in glory, in honor, in power. Forever, oh. Be blessed in glory, in honor, in power. of Revelations, chapter 5, verse 1 to 10, we read, I saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. It had, had writing on both sides and was sealed with the seven seals. Then I saw a mighty angel who proclaimed in a loud voice, who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals. But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to examine it. I shed my tears because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to examine it. One of the elders said to me, Do not weep. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has triumphed, enabling him to open the scroll with its seven seals. Then I saw standing in the midst of the throne and the four living creatures and the elders a lamb that seemed to have been slain. He had seven horns and seven eyes. These are the seven spirits of God sent out into the whole world. He came and received the scroll from the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. When he took it, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb. Each of the elders held a harp and gold bowls filled with the incense, which are the prayers of the holy ones. They sang a new hymn, Worthy are you to receive the scroll and to break open his seals for you were slain and with your blood you purchased for god those from every tribe and tongue people and nation you made them a kingdom and priests for our god and they will reign on earth saint john saw this vision the lamb of god who was enthroned there is Jesus Christ, the Lion of Judah, the House of David, is interpreted as Jesus, the Lamb of God. Through his suffering, death and resurrection, through his shedding of blood, he has purchased us and he made us kingdom of priests and holy nation. And he is the one enthroned here on this altar. The same Lamb of God enthroned there in heaven adored and worshipped by all elders and angels are enthroned here on this altar and he has purchased each and every one of us just like they fell down and praised God let us praise him as we, re as we have heard the prayers of the faithful the prayers of the elders will be rising up to heaven like the incense 
that was offered there in heaven let us also now raise our voice and praise him let our praise rise up to heaven as the fragrance of the incense burned in the altar let us all glorify him let us all glorify the lamb of god who will be who is ready to give us the salvation ready to give us healing ready to give us freedom ready to redeem us from all bondages listen once again to him who sits on the throne and unto the lamb to him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb To Him who sits on the throne And unto the Lamb To Him who sits on the throne then unto the land Be blessed in glory in honor in power Jesus enthroned here is the wounded healer. As we read in the book of Isaiah chapter 53, we have been healed because of his wounds. But many a times we are unable to present our wounded heart, wounded memories and wounded emotions before the Lord. We very often suppress all those feelings. We hide them in the depth of our hearts even if Jesus is there to heal all those wounded memories and emotions very often we are hesitant to come before him to express all those feelings at this hour the wounded heart of Jesus is now before us the wounded healer is before us he has been slain and he has been wounded in order to heal each and every one of us. Not only of our physical ailments, more than that, our own inner wounds. Jesus has undergone all the trivialities of life that we have undergone. He suffered every human situation that we face today in our own lives. He can understand it. When our feelings, our heart feelings are buried inside our mind, when we are reluctant to express them before the Lord, they can remain within us as poison. As we read in the book of Lamentation chapter 3, verse 15 and following. So 19 to 24, there we read that the thought of my homelessness, the thought of my affliction is remaining within me as a poison, as a gall. But one thing gives me hope. The love of God is new every morning. His steadfast love endures forever. This gives me hope. Now, if you are ready to offer those feelings and emotions before the Lord, if you are ready to open up the closed hearts before the Lord, He will 
shed his blood on us and wash and cleanse us the sacred heart of jesus is ready to heal each and every one of us because it has been wounded and healed so we have to offer our own feelings before the lord emotions for, before the lord our own woundedness before the lord our own wounded memories before the lord in psalm 109 psalm 109 the psalmist when he was falsely accused attacked by the enemies when he felt that others are doing injustice to him there is nobody to help him nobody understands him nobody is there to heal him he opened his heart before the lord and he cried when we pray along with the psalmist just like the psalmist at last received consolation comfort and healing from the lord we also will be able to receive that healing so we all together pray psalm 109 psalm 109 Do not be silent, O God, my praise. For wicked and deceitful mouths are open against me, speaking against me with lying tongues. They beset me with words of hate and attack me without cause. In return for my love, they accuse me, even while I make prayer to them, for them. So they reward me evil for good and hatred for my love. They say, appoint a wicked man against him. Let an accuser stand on his right. When he is tried, let him be found guilty. Let his prayer be accounted as sin. Make his days be few. May another seize his position. May his children be orphans and his wife a widow. May his children wander about and beg. May they be driven out of the ruins they inhabit. May the creditor seize all that he has. May strangers plunder the fruits of his toil. May there be no one to do him a kindness, nor anyone to pity his orphan children. May his posterity be cut off. May his name be blotted out in the second generation. May the iniquity of his father be remembered before the Lord, and do not let the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before the Lord continually and make his memory be cut off from the earth. For he did not remember to show kindness but pursued the poor and needy and the broken hearted to their death. He loved to curse. Let curse come on him. He did not like blessing. May it be far from him. He clothed himself with cursing as his coat, made soak into his body like water, like oil into his bones. May it be like a garment that he wraps around himself, like a belt that wears every that he wears every day. May that be the reward of my accusers from the Lord of those who speak evil against my life, my life. But you, O Lord, my Lord, act on my behalf for your name's sake, because your steadfast love is good. Deliver me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is pierced within me, and I am gone like a shadow at evening. I am shaken off like a locust. My knees are weak through fasting. My body has become gaunt 
I am an object of scorn to my accusers. When they see me, they shake their heads. Help me, O Lord, my God, save me according to your steadfast love. Let them know that this is your hand. You, O Lord, have done it. Let them curse, but you will bless. Let my assailants be put to shame. May your servant be glad. May my accusers be clothed with dishonor. May they be wrapped in their own shame as in a mantle. With my mouth, I will give great thanks to the Lord. I will praise Him in the midst of the throng. For He stands at the right hand of the needy to save them from, the, from those who would condemn them to death. The psalmist expressed all his feelings before the Lord. He did not hide anything from the Lord. Then he was able to praise God. He put his trust in the Lord. He took refuge in the Lord. And he, uh, he confessed that, Lord, you are the one who is going to vindicate me. Lord, I don't have any power to defend myself. You are the one who defend me, O Lord. Let us all believe in that and let us all continue to pray, shedding our tears before the Lord. Lord, I am wounded, I am hurt, I am unjustly accused, I am taken to the court, I am unjustly suffering because of the bitterness of others, because of their unjust ways, O Lord. Lord Jesus, unless you allow anything to happen to me, Nothing will happen in my life. Even if they have done evil to me, you can transform them as a blessing because you are there as my refuge. You are there as the, ra the right, just, ju uh, right judge. Oh Lord Jesus, I trust in you, Lord. Lord Jesus, I confess before you, you are the only refuge. You are the only healer. Let's all praise God lifting our hands let's cry before the lord let's all pray together lord jesus lord jesus lord jesus lord jesus i come before you i come before you with a wounded heart with a wounded heart wounded mind wounded mind wounded memory wounded memory like the psalmist like the psalmist i also pray i also pray i also shed tears before you i also shed tears before lord you. jesus lord jesus there is nobody there is nobody to wipe away to wipe away my tears my tears there is nobody there is nobody who can understand me who can understand there me. is nobody there is nobody who can defend to me who can defend me. there is nobody there is nobody to console and comfort me to console and comfort I come me. before you, Lord. I come before you, because Lord. Because you are the only one. Because you are the only who one. Who can help me. Who can help me. Who can justify me. Who can justify me. You are the only one. You are the only one. Who can save me. Who can save me. The snares of my enemy. The snares of my enemy. You are the only one. You are the only one. Who can rescue me. Who can rescue me. From the traps of my enemy. From the traps of my you enemy. You are the only one. You are the only one. Who can justify me. Who can justify me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I come before you. I come before you. I cry before you. I cry before you. Come to my assistance. Come to my assistance. Come to my help, Lord. Come to my help, Lord. At this hour. At this hour. At this moment. At this moment. I believe. I believe. Your wounded heart. Your wounded heart is open for me. Is open for me. I present before you. I present for you all these wounded emotions. All these wounded emotions and memories. And memories. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Accept everything. Accept everything. Into your heart. Into your heart. And wash all of them. And wash all of them with your precious blood. With your precious and blood. And sanctify me, O Lord. And sanctify me, O Lord. And kill me, O Lord. And kill me, O Lord. Just like you forgave. Just like you forgave. Okay. All those who offended you, all those who offended and you, pray for them. and prayed for them. I want to forgive them. I want to forgive them. I want to pray for them, Lord. I want to pray for them. Lord. I want to be blessed. I want to be blessed. I want to be healed. I want to be healed. I want to praise you, Lord. I want to praise you, Lord. I want to be enthroned. I want to be enthroned. Just like you are enthroned Just there, like you are enthroned in there. heaven, in heaven, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I want to enter into glory. I want to enter into along glory. with you, O Lord. Along with you, Lord, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I glorify a mighty name. I glorify a mighty name. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All those who have experienced similar situations, now raise your hands and voice wherever you are. Wherever you are. Now raise your hands before the Lord and praise Him because this Jesus is now consoling you. 
this jesus is now comforting you this jesus is now strengthening you this jesus is now justifying you this jesus is now is arguing for you he is going to argue your case he is going to vindicate you now let us now praise and glorify god hallelujah 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 thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus so we thank you we praise and glorify your mighty name because you are there always with me you will never leave me alone you have never left me alone lord lord jesus even if i am wounded you are there to share my woundedness even if i am suffering you are there to suffer along with me lord you even if i am falsely accused you also underwent the same situation lord you are there standing with me you are staying with me lord even in this situation lord because you can empathize with me you can empathize with me you can show compassion towards me lord you came down from heaven in order to show that compassion to suffer with me you are with me in my in moments of suffering you are with me in moments of my loneliness you are with me in my the loneliness of in uh, of my life oh lord i thank you and praise and glorify you thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah 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 thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah 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 thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah 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 there are at least two people who are misunderstood by the husband and the in-laws now those two people are feeling so sad and dejected jesus sees them and jesus now wants to embrace them and console and comfort them jesus says no i am with you i can understand you i can console you Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 There are one per- there is one person who is now facing a court case. That person was unjustly accused it seems. a person is asking the lord for a favorable judgment but he or she finds that the opponent is powerful so it is not he or she is not going to get that favorable judgment and believe that god is going to argue for you god is going to stand there in the court for you and argue for you believe in that and praise god thank you jesus, thank you, jesus. praise you jesus, thank you, jesus. hallelujah Hallelujah thank you Jesus praise you Jesus hallelujah 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 thank you Jesus praise you Jesus thank you Jesus praise you Jesus Jesus one young man young man who whose uh, mother died in early age and the father married again and the son experienced so much of oppression and discrimination and lack of love it made him so much feeling of inferiority complex and he is unable to love anybody and he is not able to get a good wife he is crying he has not opened his heart before the lord yet now jesus asking that man to open your heart your childhood experience before the lord he is going to heal you Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus heart was wounded in order to heal us. Because the wounded heart of Jesus also was healed. He is the wounded healer. When we open our heart before the wonder heart of jesus and ask him to heal us he is always there ready to heal us now we are going to pray the litany of the most sacred heart of jesus litany of the most sacred heart of jesus when we pray this litany let us believe that through the merit of the wonder heart of jesus we are going to be healed we are going to be consoled he, he is going to come to our help and assistance 
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. Lord the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. Lord the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. Lord the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, formed by the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mother, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus. substantially united to the word of god have, have mercy on us heart of jesus of infinite majesty have, have mercy on us heart of jesus sacred temple of god have, have mercy on us heart of jesus tabernacle of the most high have mercy on us heart of jesus house of god and gate of heaven have mercy on us heart of jesus burning furnace of charity have mercy on us heart of jesus abode of justice and love have mercy on us heart of jesus full of goodness and love have mercy on us heart of jesus abyss of all virtues have mercy on us heart of jesus most worthy of all praise have mercy on us heart of jesus king and sender of all heart have mercy on us heart of jesus in whom are all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge have, have mercy on us heart of jesus in whom dwells the fullness of divinity have, have mercy on us heart of jesus in whom the father was well pleased have, have mercy on us heart of jesus of whose fullness have all received have, have mercy on us heart of jesus desire of the everlasting kill have, have mercy on us heart of jesus patient and most merciful have, have mercy on us heart of jesus enriching all who invoke you have mercy on us heart of jesus fountain of life and holiness have, have mercy on us heart of jesus propitiation for all for our sin have, have mercy on us heart of jesus loaded down with a, a, a opprobrium have mercy on us heart of jesus broiled for our offenses have, have mercy on us heart of jesus obedient to death have, have mercy on us heart of jesus pierced with the lands have, have mercy on us heart of jesus source of all consolation have mercy on us heart of jesus our life and resurrection have mercy on us heart of jesus our peace and reconciliation have mercy on us heart of jesus victim for our sins have mercy on us heart of jesus salvation of those who trust in you have mercy on us heart of jesus hope of those who die in you have mercy on us heart of jesus delight of all saints have mercy on us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world spare us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world graciously hear us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us jesus meek and humble of heart make our hearts like to yours let us pray almighty and eternal god look upon the heart of your most beloved son and upon Don't the, the praises and, and sanctification satisfaction, satisfaction which, which he offers you in the, the name, name of sinners sin. and to those who implore your mercy in your great goodness grant forgiveness in the name of the same jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you forever and ever amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Let us repeat that last prayer. Jesus, Jesus, meek and humble of heart, meek and humble of heart, make my heart, make my heart like unto yours, like unto yours. Jesus, Jesus, meek and humble of heart, meek and humble of heart, make my heart, make my heart like unto yours, like unto yours. Jesus, Jesus, meek and humble of heart, meek and humble of heart, make my heart, make my heart like unto yours, like unto yours. Jesus, Jesus, meek and humble of heart, meek and humble of heart, make my heart, make my heart like unto yours, like unto yours. Jesus, Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart, make my heart like unto yours, like unto yours. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <coughs> the gospel according to Saint Matthew chapter 22. Matthew 22 verses 15 to 22 22 15 to 22 then the pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap him in speech they sent their disciples to him with a herodian saying teacher we know that you are a truthful man and that you teach the way of god in accordance with the truth and you are not concerned with anyone's opinion for you do not regard a person's status tell us then 
what is your opinion is it lawful to pay the census uh, tax to caesar or not knowing their mer- uh, malice jesus said why are you testing me you hypocrites show me the coin that pays the census tax then they handed him the roman coin he said to them whose image is this and whose inscription they replied caesar's at that he said to them then repay to caesar what belongs to caesar and to god what belongs to god when they heard this they were amazed and leaving him they went away praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 we can be falsely accused we can be attacked people try to entrap us people can try to destroy our good name people can try to destroy our future in those moments holy spirit can help us to defend ourselves and to come out of that attack jesus had the wisdom of the holy spirit since he had the wisdom of the holy spirit he was able to escape from the traps laid before him by the pharisees and the sadducees and the teachers of the law they came with this question is it lawful to give tax to caesar you know the romans were ruling over the uh, palestine and the jews never ac- accepted that roman uh, su- uh, supremacy they wanted to have their own sovereignty and the tax collectors were um taking tax from the jews to be given to caesar so if jesus answers that question saying yes you can pay tax to caesar then he will become an enemy to the jews then jews will reject him if he says no you should not pay tax sorry uh, you should not pay tax to caesar then he will become an enemy to romans and the roman soldiers could accuse him and arrest him so yes or no can be a trap he was unable to say yes or no if he say yes then he will become an enemy of the jews if he says no he will become an enemy of the romans they knew it very well but jesus with the wisdom of the holy spirit was able to escape from that trap saying give to caesar what belongs to caesar give to god what belongs to god when we have the wisdom of the holy spirit we'll be able to escape from the traps of our enemies when we are attacked another occasion st matthew chapter 22 the same chapter verse 23 to 33 as a continuation we read about question about resurrection there were two different factions of the people among the jews the pharisees and sadducees the pharisees believed in angels and resurrection life after death but the sadducees did not have any faith in angels or life after death now they came with this question and they put forward this question in a very clandestine way saying teacher we want to get an answer there was one man who married to a woman and he died without children and according to levi right prevalent among the people of israel if the first the first born or the elder son dies without children the younger one should marry the wife of the elder brother and beget children for the sake of the elder one and according to this tradition the younger one married like that there were seven brothers seven of them married this woman and none of them had children with her then at last the, the woman also died in heaven whose wife she is going to be if he answers that affirmatively 
then he will become a an enemy to sadducees if he denies it then he can be accused by the pharisees in that trap jesus out of his wisdom said in heaven there is no marrying or giving in marriage everybody like angels praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah he escaped from that trap using his wisdom another occasion we find in matthew chapter 21 verse 23 to 27 matthew 21 23 to 27 again they asked jesus uh, when he was teaching authoritatively when he was driving out demons and when he was working miracles they came and asked under which authority you are acting then jesus asked a counter question jesus knew very well their intentions so asked a counter question tell me under what authority or with what authority john the baptist was preaching and working then they discussed among themselves if we say he is acting with authority that he got from god then they will ask then why you did not believe in him if we say he was acting with a human authority then the people believe that he was a prophet they will turn against you against us and they will stone us so in this situation they were in trouble then they answered we do not know then jesus said i also do not give an answer i also do not say to you under what authority i am doing all this see how jesus used the divine wisdom to escape from the traps escape in difficult situations of our life praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah when we have the wisdom of the holy spirit the holy spirit will give us the right answer he will help us to make the right decision in times of difficulties in times of problems praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah saint paul also was a man endowed with the gift of wisdom he used that wisdom to escape from his enemies many times for example in the book of acts chapter 22 verse 25 to 29 act 22 25 to 29 saint paul was arrested and he was brought before um before the the roman uh, authority he was brought before the 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 judges and the jews started accusing him this man is uh, instigating the people and he is going to start a riot and the roman authorities are going to come and destroy us so they wanted the authorities to to condemn to death then the judge asked them to be taken to the to the to the uh, courtyard and he could not find any guilt in him but because of the insistence of the jews he told you whip him and take him to the prison then the wisdom of the holy spirit prompted saint paul to say see you don't have any right to punish him as roman citizen without allowing him to be trialed without trial you don't have any authority to judge or punish a roman citizen then immediately the guard asked him are you a roman citizen he said yes i am a roman citizen then the guard said i am a roman citizen i paid a good amount of money to become a roman citizen then he said no i am a roman citizen by birth immediately he reported this to the judge and the judge was afraid so he was saved from the people because he was a roman citizen praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah that wisdom given by the holy spirit prompted him to say that i am a roman citizen he was saved later on because of the 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 insistent demand of the sanhedrin and the jewish people he was brought again 
the next day to be tried then the jews began to accuse him and he came to know that that two factions of the people who were accusing him the pharisees and sadducees as i told you pharisees believed in resurrection and the sadducees did not believe in resurrection so he told my dear brothers and sisters you are falsely accusing me you know i am a pharisee i am a born pharisee then i believed what our ancestors taught and i observed all the rules ever since my childhood then they began to argue among themselves the pharisees and sadducees began to argue among themselves and the pharisees said this man he is innocent one angel might have come and spoken to him so leave him then they started they started uh, fighting among themselves thus really saul or uh, paul was saved and he was taken to uh, into custody by the roman soldiers kept it, kept safe that night god told uh, jesus appeared before him and told him don't be afraid you will stand before caesar and you will bear witness before uh, before him be- sorry he will bear you will bear witness for me before him praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah see how the wisdom of saint paul saved him from the hands of the jews and the, from the hands of the roman uh, um, uh, soldiers so when we have the wisdom of the holy spirit will be able to escape from many of the attacks of evil many of the attacks of our enemies we will be able to safeguard ourselves be able to defend ourselves we will be able to take the proper decision praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah in my own life i have experienced this um type of being saved by the wisdom of god once when i was the principal of one of our colleges one day morning one um, student wing of a particular political party came and gave me a letter saying today is education strike and you should not you should give leave to the college then i told them in our college we don't have any politics we don't have any political party so we don't have an allegiance to any of the political party no alliance with any political party so we are not going to give to the students we at 10 o'clock all students were in the in the in the class and the classes were going on then few students came to my office shouting slogans asking me to ring the bell and leave the students then i told them no i will not do that because we don't have any politic alliance then i saw something outside so many vehicles are surrounding the college and all the vehicles are full of people and they belong to that particular political party and i came to know that if i don't concede to their needs they are going to destroy the college they will throw stone and they will come into the class and drag our students it is going to become a big disgrace for our college then i told them give me 10 minutes please give me 10 minutes i will give you an answer you go out give me 10 minutes so i send them out after 10 minutes they came within 10 minutes i literally cried before the lord in my office give me a solution lord what should i do when they came i told them okay i am ready to to leave the students i am gi- ready to give leave today provided you do one thing you and all your people who are surrounding this college should leave the premises at least 2 kilometers away from this college premise if you are ready to do that then i will ring the bell and let the students go you know why because if those political parties and the, 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 the people are around our college if i ring the bell and the students come out the students will have clash with the political party and there will be a great big fight that will become a big problem but if they leave the premises then what will happen the students will go home peacefully praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. at the same time if i don't give leave to the, the the college if i don't ring the bell and leave the children or leave the students this enemical political party can really destroy our college so in that moment 
Holy Spirit gave me this wisdom. You asked them to go away at least two kilometers from the premises. And all of them, so, so they agreed. They communicated this message. People who were surrounding the college, all of them left. After 10 minutes, I sent one of our teachers, one of the professors, to check whether any of them are there. All of them left. Then I rang the bell and the student went back home peacefully. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It safeguarded our college. It safeguarded our good name. At that moment, the Holy Spirit gave me that wisdom to escape from that trap. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The Holy Spirit can help us to take such decisions with the divine wisdom given to us by the Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I give another example. When he was in Nairobi, we had one small house which we were using as our retreat center. We did not have a big facility. Because of some issues, we had to leave the old place and buy a new one. When we bought the new one, we had to prepare that new house and the premises. There were two seminarians with me who came from India. They were also working with me. When we were doing some works in the compound, one man came and said, I am from the immigration office. Show me, show the, the, the credentials of these seminarians. They have come with a student visa or they have come with, a, with a, the student visa and visiting visa. They are not allowed to work. Then I told him, this is our own compound. We are not doing any, any work for any, any uh, wage or salary. This is our own compound. We are working in our own home. But he was threatening me. I am going to call the police. The immigration department will come and arrest you. He was threatening. I, then, I, then what is the solution? He asked for a big amount of money, a big sum of money. Then I had a doubt. Because the immigration officers usually never come to the house and inquire about the credentials of those who are living there. It never happened. Then what is to be done? I did not know. Then Holy Spirit gave me this wisdom. I don't have money with me. We are living in another house. If you come there, I will give you some money. So you follow me. So I took the car and I asked them to follow me. They followed me from little distance. But when I reached home and waited for them, they never came because they were fraud. They came to cheat me. They were fraud people to get money from me. So that wisdom given by the Holy Spirit really helped me to escape from the trap. The same way, we can be saved from, by the Holy Spirit, to, sorry, saved from our enemies to the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. During this season, when we prepare for the Pentecost, to be anointed by the Holy Spirit, let us ask the Lord to give us all the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the wisdom, the understanding, the prudence, the knowledge, and the discernment. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise to Jesus. Praise to Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Let's all raise our hands before the Lord and ask for the Holy Spirit. We can sing a hymn invoking the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit may anoint us with wisdom, knowledge, understanding, prudence, discernment, which will help us in our everyday life, in decision making, in our uh, moments of difficulties, in moments of, our, of, of us being attacked. Let the Holy Spirit protect us, Holy Spirit defend us, Holy Spirit help us. Spirit, I need Thee. Come, sweet Spirit, I pray. Come, in Thy strength and Thy power. Come, in Thy own gentle way. Holy Spirit, I need Thee. Come, sweet Spirit, I pray. Come, in Thy 
Thy strength and Thy power. Come in Thy own gentle way. Come as the wisdom to children. Come as the sight to the blind. As a strength to my weakness, oh, take me so body and mind. Come, Holy Spirit, I need thee. Come, sweet Spirit, I pray. In thy strength and thy power, oh, come in thy own gentle way. Let's raise our hands before the Lord, believing that Jesus is now anointing us with all the gifts and charisms of the Holy Spirit, which will help us to be with Him always and to be successful in our life. And the Holy Spirit can guide us in our, in our everyday life. He can help us to make proper decisions. He will help us to escape from all enemies. So let's all praise and glorify God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh Lord Jesus Christ, you promise that when you go up to heaven to your loving Father, you will ask the Father and Father will send you. Send the paraclete, the helper, the advocate, the counselor. Lord, you fulfill that promise on the day of Pentecost. Lord Jesus, now, you are beloved children who are praying from different parts of the world. Let them be anointed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let them receive all the gifts and charisms of the Holy Spirit. Let them be freshly anointed now. Lord, I thank you and praise you because you are faithful. Lord Jesus, you will never deny the Holy Spirit. Those who ask for it because you told us, is there any father who gives stone to the children who ask for bread? Is there any father who gives snake to the to a snake when they ask for fish? You wicked fathers know how to give good things to your children. How all the more, what the Father will give Holy Spirit to those who ask for. Lord, we are asking for that Spirit. Asking for the fresh anointing. Asking for the wisdom and knowledge of the Holy Spirit. Anointing of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us pray along with the Holy Mother so that we also may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit as our Holy Mother was filled with the Holy Spirit. Let us pray the rosary and during this rosary let us put all our personal intentions, all our woundedness, all our, our uh, trials and tribulations, all the problems that we are facing. Let the Holy Mother take all of them to the, his beloved son and intercede for us. Let the Holy Spirit help us to know the will of God in our life. When we suffer, sometimes God can transform our suffering as a blessing. Sometimes God can have superior plans behind our blessing, which may not be known to us, which may not be um, revealed to us. But God knows he transforms everything for our own good. To those who love God, those who are called by His purpose, don't you know that everything will turn out to be for one's own good? Romans 8, 28. So let us pray along with the Holy Mother to be anointed by the Spirit as well as to be healed and to be helped in our everyday life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven 
and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there you shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For the increase of faith, hope, and charity, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. In this mystery, let us contemplate how our Lord Jesus Christ, triumphing over death, rose again on the third day, glorious and immortal. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Queen of the most holy rosary, pray for us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise to Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise to Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Jesus sees one family which believes that they are suffering sickness and economic breakdowns because the neighbors or relatives have done witchcraft against them and they are in great trouble. They are also hating the neighbors and the relatives and Jesus asking them to say three, uh, 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 three times creeds every day. Every day you say the creed three times 
Jesus is going to come into your home and set you that home free. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank, you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of Jesus. In this mystery, let us contemplate how our Lord Jesus, 40 days after his resurrection, ascended into heaven in the presence of his most holy mother, apostles and disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without sin. Amen. O my, my Jesus, Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, sins. Save, save us from, from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Vincent. Pray for us. Saint Padre Pio. Pray for us. Saint Alfonso. Pray for us. Saint Augustine. Pray for us. Saint Monica. Pray for us. The third glorious mystery, the Lesson of the Holy Spirit. In this mystery, let us contemplate how the apostles, having returned to Jerusalem, were in prayer and supplication with the Blessed Virgin Mary expecting the fulfillment of our Lord Jesus Christ's uh, promise, and he, being seated at the right hand of God, sent the Holy Spirit upon them. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my, my Jesus, Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, sins. Save, save us from, from the fires of hell, lead all souls, souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. You know the most holy rosary. Pray for us. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise to Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise to Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus is healing one person from arthritis. That person is suffering from that sickness for almost five years. There is swelling on the ankles and the knees. Jesus healing that person. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 And the person who is suffering from peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer is also being healed by the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In this mystery, let us contemplate how the glorious Virgin Mary, many years after the resurrection of her son, passed out of this world to him and was taken boldly into heaven, accompanied by the holy angels. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without sin. Amen. O, o my, my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our sins, sins save, save us from, from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. mercy. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. 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 So one person who is suffering discrimination in the place of work is seeking for a new job and asking the Lord for his assistance. God is answering that prayers. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. One couple, childless couple, they are barren because of either impotency or um, any other uh, sexual problem, uh, for, uh, frigidity or, in, or um, impotency. Jesus is solving that problem and God is give, going to give them a child. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In this mystery, let us contemplate how the glorious Virgin Mary was to the great jubilation and exaltation of the whole court of heaven crowned by her son with the brightest diadem of glory, and how all the saints rejoice with her in heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my and Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from, from the fires, fires of hell. hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of Peace, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Remember, O Most Gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided, inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O virgins, O virgins, my mother, 
to thee I come before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate, this past for my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's Hallelujah. raise our hands Jesus. before the Lord and praise Jesus. God. Jesus. Believing that we have been blessed during this hour of adoration. For the intercession of Holy Mother also we have been especially blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank praise you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Lord, we thank and praise and glorify you because you have blessed each and every one of us during this hour of adoration when we are before your loving presence. You are glorious presence. You are healing presence. Lord, you never allow anybody to go disappointed without receiving any blessing. Lord Jesus, anybody who has participated in this adoration is not going back. He is not going back without receiving anything from your loving kindness, Lord. I thank and praise and glorify you. Thank you, Lord, for the healing. Thank you, Lord, for the consolation of tech that you have given to your beloved children. Thank you, Lord, for guiding us forward in the future. Thank you, Lord, for anointing us to the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There's one testimony. My brother-in-law was admitted to the hospital with a severe infection in his lungs. He had high-grade pneumonia and sepsis. On 2nd March, the doctor said that he was in critical condition and they could not say anything about his prognosis for 48 hours. All of his organs were in a bad state. My mother has, has been a follower of the Divine UK live streams for the last three years and has never missed the adoration. She would attend the prayer tower and pray for him for three hours every day and well every day as well during the online adoration all of us started st attending with great faith during the 18 days of his hospitalization father announced more almost every day that a person with a lung infection is being healed that a person whose oxygen levels are low is being healed that someone with a swollen legs is being healed etc we all claim these messages for him. On 18th March, Father announced that someone suffering from a lung infection whose oxygen level is low and is sitting near a window in the hospital is being healed. This was exactly the case for him and we claimed it for him. A few days back, he was discharged from the hospital. Jesus saved him and completely healed him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 So another one, I am from Kenya, I am testifying on behalf of, my, of a friend who had a recurrence of his cancer in April, this time a lymphoma, uh, lymphoma. I sent his petition to the Divine UK Ministries, his name was called out several times during the online adoration, Father also said that someone whose cancer has relapsed is being healed by the Lord. I claimed it for him and I shared the clip with him. By the grace of God, he is completely healed from cancer. All glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Let us glorify God, claiming all this healing that we have announced this day for our life. And let us believe that God has started healing us. That which he started will complete. That is the word of God. That God has started, he will complete. Let us believe in that. And raise your hands before the Lord and praise and glorify him for a few minutes, a few seconds. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank and praise you for allowing your healing power to flow from your Eucharistic presence on this altar to everybody who is calling on your name. I thank and praise you, Lord, for touching everybody. In this present moment, Lord, I pray for all those who are clamoring for justice, all those who are crying for healing, all those who are crying for consolation, all those who are crying for your special intervention in their life, Lord, Jesus. They may be at the dead Jesus. end of their Jesus. life journey, Jesus. but Lord, you can Jesus. pave them a new Jesus. way. 
Lord, even Jesus, if they are Jesus, disappointed, Jesus, you can touch Jesus, their heart and Jesus, give them hope. Jesus, even if they are Jesus, sorrowful, Jesus, you can give them Jesus, joy. Jesus, Lord, even if Jesus, they have a lot of tensions Jesus, in their heart, Jesus, you can console Jesus, and comfort them Jesus, now. Even if they are Jesus, unable to take a decision, Jesus, you can Jesus, lead them Jesus, to take a new decision Jesus, according to your Jesus, will, O oh Lord. Jesus, even if they are sick, you can Jesus, touch them and heal them Jesus, at this present moment. Jesus, I thank and praise Jesus, and glorify you, Lord. Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus, All the broken relationships. All the broken families may may, may now Jesus, receive the blessing of God. Jesus, Let all those Jesus, families may be protected Jesus, from the attack Jesus, of evil. Let Jesus, there be unity and love Jesus, and reconciliation Jesus, in every family. Jesus, Thank you, Jesus. Praise Jesus, you, Jesus. Praise hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. hallelujah, 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 Jesus. hallelujah, Jesus. hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord Jesus, in a special Jesus. way, we pray for Jesus. all ministers of the word. All those who are Jesus. helping in the ministry, Jesus. all those helping Jesus. in the spreading of the Jesus. gospel, all Jesus. those helping in the spreading of our kingdom, all Jesus. those doing any ministry Jesus. for the sake of divine Jesus. UK. Lord, Jesus. we ask you, Lord, you Jesus. bless them, heal Jesus. them, you empower Jesus. them, you strengthen them, Jesus. you answer their cry and prayers, O oh Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Jesus. you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Praise Jesus. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Once again, I welcome you to the Inner Healing and Family Healing Resurrection Retreat starting this Friday, April 12th, going up to 14th Sunday, 4 o'clock. If anybody would like to join us, you can book online or send a message to pandasav at divanuk.org or send a message to 0741-7494-277. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I request your prayers, special prayers for the success of that retreat, that everybody who attend that retreat may be able to experience the miraculous healing touch of Jesus and they become powerful evangelists. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Every first Saturday of the month in Pandasaf, we have one day recollection, we have preaching, healing mass, healing adoration, consecration, immaculate heart of Mary, according to, the, to Fatima revelation, and novena to Padre Pio, and veneration of the relic. You are welcome. We have organized some coaches from, the, from Honslow, Faltham, and you uh, contact Gerson um, in the number that you see on the screen and Sudbury and Wembley, you contact Bimal and Pascal in the number that you see on the screen for coach, coaches organized for first Saturday. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If anybody would like to organize such coaches from your parishes or from your premises, you contact us and we will be happy to help you. And God will bless you for what you do for the sake of spreading of the gospel and Kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On May 25th, we have a special program, the anniversary convention in Divine, uh, Vincent and Divine Retreats and Pandasaf, um, and also Padre Pio's Day. We start at 9 30 and it goes up to 4 o'clock in the evening. Coaches will be organized from different parts of London and other parts of UK. The details will be given shortly, and you pray for the success of that program. The Bishop for Rexham will be coming to celebrate Mass that day. And we, the members of the Divine UK Ministry, will be present there for the services. So please pray for that. And you are welcome to attend that program. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Now let us bow our heads to receive the Eucharistic blessing.
sacraments most holy, O sacraments divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacraments most holy, O sacraments divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacraments most holy, O sacraments divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. As part of the World Evangelization Mission, today we pray for New Zealand, Nicaragua, and Niger. Please pray as many Hail Marys as possible for each of those three countries. We'll be having a Tamil residential retreat at our retreat center in Ramsgate from Friday the 26th of April to Sunday the 28th of April. Prior registration is mandatory and can be done on our website. For further information, please send a message to the number you see on the screen via WhatsApp. Prayer for Divine UK Ministries. Heavenly Father, you have promised that your eyes will be open and ears attentive to the prayer that is made in divine retreat centers in UK. Because now you have chosen and consecrated these retreat centers so that your name may be there forever, your eyes and your heart will be there for all the time. Heavenly Father, keep the team members of the divine UK ministry and its priests from the evil one. No weapon that is fashioned against your house shall prosper and you shall confute every tongue that rises against your house in judgment. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places through the divine UK ministries. Heavenly Father, help us to seek the worship hall that you have chosen as your habitation to put your name there. For mortals it is impossible, but for God all things are possible. And you, our God, will fully satisfy our every need according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And Lord, we claim Gospel of Luke chapter 6 and verse 38 for all our benefactors. Now to him who by the power at work within us is able to accomplish abundantly far more than all we can ask or imagine. To him be glory in the church and Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Divine UK would like to wish all of our brothers and sisters who are worshipping along with us who celebrate their birthdays today. Today we pray for Judah Johnny, for Alma Fernandez, Ludes Price, Margaret De Cruz, Sarah Godwin, Annie Rodriguez, Marie Lepcha, Nisha D'Souza, Lena D'Souza, Danica Pereira, Resica Mascarenes, Valentine Mendoza, Maria Hudson, Monica Nongturu, Rohan Pereira and Godwin Kotaka. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that he need. Here at the table of Sit at my table where saints and sinners are friends. I wait to welcome the lost and lonely to share the cup of my love. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty.
praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell you your name. I will tell of your name to my kin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let's thank God for all blessings that God has showered upon us and our families during these days. Today, let us especially remember Judah, who is uh, Judy, no? Judah, okay. Judah, who is celebrating the birthday, who is the uh, no. okay. <laughs> who is the son of Teresa and uh, let us pray that the good Lord may bless the child abundantly during this Holy Eucharist and in the future also. Let's thank God for what that family is doing for the UK ministry um, here and let the Lord bless the whole family. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us forgive us and pardon for all our sins and shortcomings and ask for his compassionate love. I confess yes, to, to Almighty God, God and to my brothers, brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith, we may possess in unending love through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest intervened with all his supporters from the party of the Sadducees. Prompted by jealousy, they arrested the apostles and had them put in the common gaol. But at night the angel of the Lord opened the prison gates and said as he led them out, Go and stand in the temple and tell the people all about this new life. They did as they were told. They went into the temple at dawn and began to preach. When the high priest arrived, he and his supporters convened the Sanhedrin. This was the full senate of Israel and sent to the gaol for them to be brought. But when the officials arrived at the prison, they found they were not inside. So they went back and reported, we found the gaol securely locked and the warders on duty at the gates. But when we unlocked the door, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple and the chief priest heard this news, they wondered what this could mean. Then a man arrived with fresh news. At this very moment, he said, the men you imprisoned are in the temple. They are standing there preaching to the people. The captain went with his men and fetched them. They were afraid to use force in case the people stoned them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Response oral psalm. The response to the psalm is, this poor man called and the Lord heard him. This poor man called and the Lord heard him. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. Response. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. 
From all my terrors he set me free. Response. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This poor man called, the Lord heard him and rescued him from all his distress. Response. This This poor poor man cried and the Lord heard him. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who revere him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is happy who seeks refuge in him. Response. This this poor man cried and the Lord heard him. Let's all stand for the gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Christ Christ has risen and shone upon us, whom he redeemed with his blood. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God loved the world so much that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost but may have eternal life. For God sent his son into the world not to condemn the world but so that through him the world might be saved. No one who believes in him will be condemned. But whoever refuses to believe is condemned already because he has refused to believe in the name of God's only Son. On these grounds is sentence pronounced that though the light has come into the world, men have shown they prefer darkness to the light because their deeds were evil. And indeed, everybody who does wrong hates the light and avoids it for fear his actions should be exposed but the man who lives by the truth comes out into the light so that it may be plainly seen that what he does is done in God the gospel of the Lord praise to your Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. These days we are reflecting on the dialogue between Jesus and Nicodemus. And today what we heard is the last part, last section of that conversation. And this today's gospel opens with the statement of the love of God. God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not perish but may have eternal life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Jesus tells Nicodemus the supreme and sublime expression of God's love is manifested in allowing his only son to come to this world and to be sacrificed for the salvation of the world. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Some people may ask why God decided to send his only son. God might have had many other options. There is one story about an Indian Mughal king, Akbar. He was a very prominent king. He even started a new religion. Uh, receiving the good aspects of three religions, Christianity, Hinduism, and Islam. He had a very intelligent and wise uh, minister. One day, he called Virbal, his own, this wise minister, and asked him, why God sent his son to this world to save the world. He could have sent an angel. He could have sent somebody else. Why God sent his only son? Then Weibel, a wise minister, told him, give me one week to answer that question. After one week, one Saturday, 
he approached the king and told you are so tired no now we need to have some break i have prepared a pleasure trip for you we can go for a boating but you should take your son also with you so on sunday the next morning virbal akbar and his only son set out for a journey and they came to the river and a boat was prepared for them the man who was rowing the boat welcomed them all of them entered into that boat he started rowing the boat when it reached at the center of of the river virbal pushed the the son of the of the king down to the river then akbar became so angry and shouted immediately he jumped into the river to save his only son and when he came up with his son to the boat he asked virbal with anger why you pulled pushed my son down to the river then he asked a counter question you could have asked me to jump down and save the son but why you jump down to the river to save then he said it is my son it is my son because i love him he is so precious to me then virbal said you asked me one question last week why god sent his only son to this world to save the world he could have sent a messenger an angel or somebody else now just like you as a loving father jump down to save your son who is so precious to you the same way god considered the humanity so precious that he decided to send his only son praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 god the father did not spare even his own son he decided to give up his own son as a ransom for the sins of the humanity and saved us this is the sublime mark of god's love hallelujah 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 now jesus told nicodemus everybody who believes in that son who was sent by the father will be saved anybody everybody who believes in the in the name of that son accepts him as the savior will be saved but those who reject him are all, uh, are already pun- or condemned they are already condemned because they have rejected the one who was sent by the by the father then he continues but what is going to be the standard of judgment what is going to be the criterion for judgment the criterion will be this light and darkness those people who accepted jesus the light will be saved those who accepted or rejected jesus the light and opted for darkness will be condemned so the criterion for judgment will be the choice that you make the choice between light and darkness that will be the criterion for judgment praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah our salvation and our judgment our punishment our perdition everything depends upon our personal choice god has revealed himself as a loving compassionate god and he has given up his life to save us those who accept him as the savior those who surrender their life to that savior will be saved those who reject him cannot be saved praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah so it depends upon our own choice it is the holy spirit who helps us to make the right choice he will reveal to us what is right and wrong once we know what is right the holy spirit will help us to choose what is right and avoid what is wrong In the book of deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 15 to 20 deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 15 to 20 we have uh now just moses is presenting before the people of israel a choice in verse 15 we read today i said before you 
life and prosperity death and adversity and if you obey my commandments if you follow my precepts then you will be blessed in verse 19 we read today i call heaven and earth to witness against you that i have said before you life and death blessing and curses choose life so that you and your descendants may live and they be blessed praise the lord praise the lord so god has already said before us this freedom of choice we have that freedom to choose life or death prosperity or curse blessing or curse we have the right choice if we take the right decision if we choose the right one then we will be blessed holy spirit helps us to know what is right and wrong and help us to choose what is right those people who know what is right and wrong need not choose what is right sometimes they willfully deny to choose the right thing they will follow the directions and advice of other people hallelujah hallelujah holy spirit today gives the knowledge about right and wrong through other people maybe through the parents to the teachers through a spiritual directors through our friends god can tell us god can instruct us what is right and wrong through many media many media it is up to us to choose what is right and wrong and our future will depend upon our choice praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah in bible we have many incidents where people were advised by wise people who are uh, who have wisdom of the holy spirit who were used by god to give wisdom but those who accepted that those advices they have prospered in their life they have been saved those who rejected that they were destroyed praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah for example in the uh, book of first kings book of first kings chapter 12 verse 1 to 20 first kings 12 verse 1 to 20 after the death of solomon his own son rehoboam became the king when rehoboam was consecrated as the king 10 tribes of israel came to uh, rehoboam or ten, the leaders of 10 tribes of israel came to rehoboam and told during the lifetime of your father solomon he oppressed us he laid heavy yokes on our shoulders now as you have been consecrated as the king of israel we request you to release us from that yoke of burden please show mercy towards us be little more lenient towards us then he told them give me few days you come to me after a few days then he consulted the wise men the elders who used to advise his own father solomon and also david his grandfather and these elderly people advised to him you listen to their plea you grant their request help them or take away that yoke from their shoulders be more compassionate towards them lenient towards them then you will rule over the land of israel but he called his own friends with whom he grew up the young men he asked them what answer should i give to those people who requested me to take away the yoke put on their shoulders by my father solomon what answer should i give then these young friends advised him tell them my finger is bigger than the body of my father if my father oppressed you i am going uh, i am going to put on your shoulders 10 times heavier yoke than my father put on you then these 10 tribes came uh, on appointed time and requested for uh, releasing them from or relieving them from the yoke of burden then he told them the same what his own young advisers asked him to say 
then this 10 uh, sorry the, the 10 tribal leaders went back under the leadership of Jeroboam and they split off from Israel they form a new country called Israel then the country of Israel was divided into two Judah and Judah the northern so the southern, uh, Judah the northern sorry Judah the southern kingdom and Israel the northern kingdom Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The kingdom was divided. When he heard the advice of the wrong advices, then that caused the destruction of the whole kingdom. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 27 and 28, we read about the advice given by Jeremiah the prophet and Kanania the false prophet. The people of Israel went after Baal and Astarte and the, the Canaanite gods and they worshipped Baal and the pagan gods. Then Jeremiah came and said, what is going to happen? God is going to send Nebuchadnezzar, the Babylonian king against you. And he will be led to exile. Then he took upon himself a yoke on his shoulders and walked along the streets in broad daylight. Then people asked him, what foolishness are you doing? Are you mad? Then he said, if you don't repent, this yoke will fall on your shoulders. You will be led to exile. But Hananiah, the false prophet, came and took away that yoke and broke it and threw it away and said, within two years, God is going to break all the yokes and God is going to give you freedom and prosperity. You know what happened? Nebuchadnezzar, the Babylonian king, sent by God, came and defeated the king of Judah and took him to exile, destroyed the temple of Jerusalem, plundered the city, took away all the treasures and took all those people to exile. Only few disabled people, poor people remain in Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When the people of Israel gave heed, attention to the false prophet, false advice, they were destroyed. If they would have received an advice given by Jeremiah, they would have been saved. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 In the book of First Samuel, sorry, Second Samuel, chapter 24, Second Samuel 24, we read about a decision taken by, by David. David told Joab, his own military commander, you go around the country and take the census of all people who are able to go for war. Then Joab, Joab said, my Lord King, why you want to do that? It is against the will of God. You refrain from doing that. But David did not give heed to attention to the advice given by his own military commander. He commanded them to go around and take the census. But Joab and his men decided not to take the census of the Levites. They left him, left that tribe. Because of that, what happened, you know? Because he disobeyed the commandments of God. He disobeyed or he uh, trusted on himself instead of trusting in the power of God. God told David, I am going to give you three options. One, either you, uh, um, you will be chased by the enemies or there will be uh, sorry, um, pestilence for three days. Now what do you want to choose? At last David said, instead of falling into the hands of my enemies, it is better to fall into, into your hands. So I opt for the third one. You sent pestilence. God sent pestilence for three days. 70,000 people died. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because he did not follow the wise advice of his own military commander. It happened to be a disaster for his own citizen, the whole people. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when we listen to the advice of the wise people, then we will be able to have prosperity in our life. They will have salvation in our life. We will have blessing in our life. If we follow the false advice, then we will be destroyed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Holy Spirit gives us the knowledge about right and wrong and the power to choose the right. Remember once, one uh, man came to you and said, Father, I got two job options. Two job options. One, work from Monday to Friday, but the payment would be the normal payment, the normal standard payment. Second job, work from Friday to Sunday, but the payment will be double. So I was really confused which is to be taken. My first attraction was to take the second one because I need to work only three days, but I will give a, get double payment. That is better. But I put before the Lord this option and I prayed, Lord, give me wisdom to choose the right one. One day as he was praying, he got that inspiration to choose the first one because if he chooses the second one, he will miss the Sunday Mass. He will not be able to pray. He will not be able to attend the Sunday services. And thus, he is going to miss opportunity for spiritual growth as well as to be with his family in prayer and attending the Mass. So he opted the first one. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he said, Father, I never regret for that choice. Today, my family is happy. Money is not the important thing. Family is the most important thing. Our relationship with God is the most important thing. So he chose that one. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I was in India, one man told me, Father, I had two marriage proposals. One was from abroad. One nurse who is working abroad and told that if I marry her, she will take me with her and we will have better material and financial prospectus. Then second proposal, a, la a lady who was working in IT field, drawing a good salary, then which is to be chosen? I was confused. On the one hand, I had a great attraction towards the first one because I will be able to go abroad and we have met better material and financial prosperity. But I put before the Lord these two options and prayed for God's guidance and I got this answer from the Lord. I should choose the second one. You know, reason? I have my aged parents, my old parents. If I go abroad, there will be nobody to take care of my parents. As a beloved son, as a responsible son, it is my duty to take care of my parents, money is secondary. And he chose the second one. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The Holy Spirit gave him, or gave, this, gave those uh, two people, what is right, the wisdom to choose the right thing, and the courage to stand firm in that. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So let us pray to the Holy Spirit during these days, to give us that knowledge of right and wrong, what is good and wrong, then that courage to choose what is right and persevere in the decision and thus be blessed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's close our eyes. Jesus is asking you, my dear son, my dear daughter, I have said before you, right and wrong. I have come as light and those who believe in me will never walk in darkness. I am the light of the world. Are you ready to choose the light or prefer to choose the darkness? Do you want to produce the fruits of the Holy Spirit or to produce the fruits of flesh? Let us opt for Jesus. Let us opt for the light. Darkness will lead us into perdition and destruction, into hell. 
Jesus the light will lead us into eternal life. Momentary pleasures, worldly gains, earthly success, all these are fleeting pleasures and momentary ones. But the salvation and blessing offered by Jesus is eternal, endures forever. Our homeland is not here on this earth. Our homeland is in heaven. We want to trust our wealth there. Let us opt for Jesus. And if we opt for him, as we heard from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30, where it's 15 to 20, if we obey his commandments, and if we love him, he will bless us. With that faith, you ask the Lord for blessings, for whatever needs you have in your life. If you are sick, ask for healing. If you have family breakdown, ask for solution. If there is division, disunity, tension in your family, ask for healing, reconciliation and unity. If you are experiencing financial breakdown, ask Jesus for a breakthrough. If you have if you are facing litigation, cases, and enmity, ask Jesus to protect you and bless your enemies. If you have a problem with your children, ask Jesus to accept them and safeguard them. If you are sad and sorrowful, Ask Jesus to give you happiness. If you are tense and anxious, ask Jesus to give you hope. If you are childless, ask Jesus to bless you with the, the gift of children. If you or your children or your own siblings are aspiring to get married and they do not find a suitable partner, ask Jesus to give a suitable partner as God chose Sarah to be the wife of Tobias. If you are jobless, ask the Lord to open a gate for you. If you or anybody in your family is under any bondage of bad habits, drunkenness, drug addiction, or any other sexual sins, unfaithfulness, ask Jesus to set those people free from those bondages. If you are seeking any document from the government or any other office, ask Jesus to touch the hearts of all those officers to take a favorable decision for you. If you are aspiring for a house of your own or a vehicle of your own, ask the Lord to bless you with them. O loving Father, we raise all our prayers and petitions towards your loving presence. You allowed your only Son to come to this world and sacrifice himself in full obedience. And he offered himself as a propitiation for our sins. He atoned for our sins. And he is ready to take all our prayers to you and obtain divine grace. 
by the merit of the suffering death of and resurrection of your beloved son grant everything that we have asked for we believe that you are answering all these prayers and we thank and praise you father for this we make this prayer to christ our lord amen Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and your words may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and for the good of all His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, then we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with the Paschal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly in his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the child of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, all bishops, clergy, and religious. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy on us all. How mercy on Judah, who is celebrating the birthday, and the whole family. How mercy on all our benefactors, our team members, and our volunteers, and all those who are interested in for us. How mercy on all the broken families. Mercy on all those who are in ICU, those who are in ventilator, those who are struggling for life. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us, us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that He shall enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. Let us prepare ourselves for the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive it sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you 
Amen. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with the heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. The Almighty God bless us. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's go in peace and love of Jesus Christ to serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Prayer for priests. O oh, oh, Jesus, Jesus, eternal priest, priest keep, keep your priests within, within the shelter of your heart, where none may harm them. Keep unstained their anointed hands, which daily hold your sacred body. Keep holy their lips, moistened with your precious blood. Keep holy and unearthly their hearts 
sealed with the sublime mark of your glorious priesthood. Let your love surround and shield them from the contagion of this world. Their labors for the glory of God may be blessed with abundant fruits, and may the one whom they serve be the source of joy to them here on earth and in heaven, their eternal crown. Let them be eager to be with you, to proclaim your good news, and to fight against the evil one. Lord, give your church, holy priests, religious and lay leaders. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, keep pure your priests and those whom they serve. Holy Mary, Queen of Priests, pray for your priest. Saint Alfonso, pray for the religious. Saint Augustine of England, pray for England. Holy Family, keep our families pure and holy. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Pray to Saint Michael, Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. One may be prevented from sinning by poverty, so when he rests, he feels no remorse. One may lose his life through shame, or lose it because of human respect. Another out of shame makes promises to a friend, and so makes an enemy for nothing. A lie is an ugly blot on a person, it is continually on the lips of the arrogant. A thief is preferable to a habitual liar, but the Lord of both is ruin. A liar's way leads to disgrace, and his shame is ever with him. The wise person advances himself by his words, and one who is sensible pleases the great. Those, those who cultivate the soil heap up their harvest, and those who please the great atone for injustice. Favors and gifts blind the eyes of the wise, like a muzzle on the mouth they stop reproofs. Hidden wisdom and unseen treasure of what value is either. Better are those who hide their folly than those who hide their wisdom. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and God, to rule and guide. Amen. Thank you. 